So my opinion with free work is Yo, so tomorrow I'm doing my first ever wedding photo shoot. Sort of. It's I've done I've done a wedding bridal prep and party before. That was years ago and that was family friends. But tomorrow I'm doing a registrar re, registrar registrar office wedding ceremony. Uh, there's vow reading in some sort of garden. Really small ceremony obviously because of COVID. Uh, but there's like vow reading in the garden and then we're doing a photo shoot, portrait photo shoot afterwards. And yeah, this is my first ever proper one of this sort of shoot. So I'm excited. A little bit nervous, but I think that's a good thing. Uh, but yeah, I thought I'd quickly... I'm not going to vlog while there, obviously, because it's a wedding. But on the way there, and I'll tell you how it goes afterwards. And yeah, but yeah, I thought I'd quickly go through what kit I'm taking with me. Um, so, come here. Um, right now, on the a7 III um, with the 17 to 28 millimeter, which is coming with me. I have also got, I've got my 85 millimeter, which is going to be great for portraits. Very excited to use that. The 28 to 17 mil, which I'm probably not going to use, but I'm bringing it just in case, uh, in case I do need to pinch in at all. Filter set, and then yeah, I will have just whatever other stuff I end up needing for the day. We'll be going in there, but that's just a general kit that I'll be taking. No drone or anything like that, because it's in the middle of London. But yeah, this is a lot longer of a talking section than it was meant to be, so I'm going to cut it here, and I'll see you tomorrow. Morning. So we last spoke two days ago when I said I was going to shoot a wedding, which was now yesterday. And it has been done and it was sick. Really, really enjoyed that. It was a lot of fun. To be fair, the couple were just so chilled out. Don't get me wrong, I'm well aware that not every couple in the world is going to be like that. But they were just so chilled out. They just made the whole thing such a pleasure. And made me just feel like one of the guests. Like I was there, just invited along because I was their friend. It was great. But um, yeah, really enjoyed myself. My kit is now horrendously dirty. Um, but yeah, quick, wanted to quickly talk about the kit I used, why I used it, and then I wanted to talk about doing free work and my thoughts on that. So I didn't think I would actually end up using the 28-70mm at all. Uh, I ended up using it quite a lot, mainly just to achieve the 50mm focal length, or like thereabouts, like I float between 35 and 50. Um, but it uh, can only sort down this where it's 3.5 to 5.6, so I wasn't getting much depth of field when using it at this focal length, it's really bugging me. And I know I, was gonna, I said I was going to keep my lens collection down for the Sony system, but I might have to get 50mm because I miss 50mm. I love 50mm. I love my 85, don't get me wrong, I love this thing, but there are just some situations where it's just too tight. The 50mm would just been like, oh. So maybe, we shall see. But. Uh, yeah, I use the 85 a lot. Got a lot. Of, I, just, I just love this lens. It's, just, oh, it's a great lens. Uh, and yeah, I was floating on this a fair bit as well. Uh, and I did a few, fair few shots on the 17 to 28 as well. I got some really nice wide shots with just. Yeah, really nice. So, my opinion with free work is yes. Alright, so the bit. So, I, I'm, an ad, I'm an advocate for free work, for doing work for free. 
not a lot, not too much, not taking the mick, but when you're starting out in a certain area, I think it's a great thing to do, to be honest, because a lot, okay, so a lot of photographers will say, well, a lot of photographers I've heard say on YouTube and on forums and just online have said, don't do free work, your work is worth something, your art is worth something, and yeah, it is 100% worth something. If you're at a point where you feel confident to charge people, for your time to take photos or make videos or whatever, then you are at a point where it, you're good. And your art is worth something and your work is worth something. But that being said, I think free work should be looked at as an investment because I can't go to a club. So the reason, so I did this wedding for free. I don't know if I said that already. I did this wedding completely. I did this wedding completely for free for my portfolio because the couple weren't actually, they didn't even want photos. It's not that they didn't want photos, they just weren't fussed. But they got one of their friends to the video for it. And then he contacted me because he was looking for a photographer to do portrait shots so he could film them posing for portrait shots, basically. So that's how I kind of got the gig. And yeah, it was completely free, it was completely unpaid. But the reason is I couldn't go to a couple and say, hi, I'm a wedding photographer. I'm going to charge you this much to take your wedding photos. And they go, okay, can we see some of your work? And I go, well, I've never actually photographed a wedding before. You, you're not, like, no, that's not how it works. You can't, you're not going to get any work like that. You might get some people that would take the risk, and might, but they might go off other work you've done. So if you've done a lot of portrait shoots and a lot of lifestyle shoots and family shoots, that could get you in there. But I haven't, I haven't got any of that. I haven't really don't really do portrait that often. So I can't go and charge someone to take wedding photos of their wedding. So you need that portfolio piece. So me doing a free wedding, even though it's a, it was a lot of work, I was there five to six hours yesterday. I'm gonna spend God knows how long editing because I've got like 1,500 photos. That time, what that time value is an investment into myself because I can then, when this is all done, I'm gonna have an entire portfolio for a wedding that I can now go forward and say, that I can do wedding photography, this is what I've done in the past, this is, we should work together. You should hire me, basically. You can't do it without, it's the exact same with any other area of photography. You can't, you couldn't go to Nike and start to then say, I'm gonna charge you this much and I'm gonna do your entire shoe campaign. And they say, okay, let's see some Nike, but let's see some trainers you've shot in the past. And you're like, oh, I've never actually done product photography before. You just need the portfolio piece, in my opinion. That's that's my opinion on doing free work. I think it's an investment into yourself, and it also builds your own experience as well. Like if I went there, if they were paying me for that yesterday, I'd be like, oh my god, I've never done this before. Like I'm confident I can take good photos, but I'm just like, oh my god, like they're paying me, you know, I gotta mess this up. No, completely. It's just there's a lot less pressure on you, and it means you can build your portfolio, and you can I can now go forward and say. I can take wedding photos. Obviously start, uh, starting in the cheaper realm than others. I'm not gonna go starting Eric Flobo prices, but yeah, I can now, I now have that portfolio piece to say, this is the work I can offer. So yeah, so that's my thoughts on doing free work. I think it's a really good investment into yourself and I think you should do it. But yeah, that's my thoughts on that. And yeah, really enjoy shooting wedding We'll hope you do more. Obviously, COVID is a thing. Oh, yeah. Also, I didn't even mention this wedding, right? Was so it's all social distance because of COVID. So there was very limited people. We were in a register office and all, everyone was just spread out. There was just one seat there and then two meters apart was the next seat and two meters apart and it was all around the office. Which is everyone was two, spread two, two meters apart. And as a photographer, they said when we got in there, pick a spot. Uh, pick a good spot because you're not allowed to move. We, as I, me, the photographer and the videographer, we had to pick a spot each and we weren't allowed to move from there. So we had to pick a strategic spot so we could make sure we're going to capture everything and not move. Yeah, weird. Didn't think my first ever wedding would be during a global pandemic. Uh, I also didn't think it would be 35 degrees and we'd have to walk across London to go to the photo shoot location, but. It was hot. It was really hot. But yeah, really happy. Thank you very much to Tiffany and Dean, if you are, if you do ever see this, for letting me come and photograph it. It was a pleasure to meet you both and to capture your big day. So, and thank you to Ben. I'm going to drop the, I'll drop the link of the videographer down below. 
um because he's the one that contacted me i'll drop his instagram down below so thank you ben for inviting me on but yeah that's it for me today i will see you in the next video i forgot my outro i don't know why i just literally just had a brain fart then how do i end these things I did this other day didn't i i just can't remember yeah drop, if you like the video drop a thumbs up down below it does massively help subscribe to see all the content all the other stuff that youtube's tell you to do and if not i will see you in the next video don't forget to take the shots peace